Hi, this is Danny from Danny'sDesigns.com, and in today's tutorial, I wanted to show you how to make this simple, cute thank you card. This is going to be my thank you card for all of my customers who order during the month of September. So to start with, you need a piece of very vanilla cardstock. This measures four and a quarter by eleven inches. And we're going to go ahead and score that in half at five and a half inches. my bone folder and go over that crease so it stays nice and closed. Now the card has three strips of designer series paper. This comes from the Pretty Petals designer series paper stack and each of these measures one and a quarter by five and a quarter inches. Now I need some adhesive and I found that the best way to put these on your card when you have three pieces and you're trying to make sure they're uh, spaced evenly is to always start on the left side or the right side and then do the middle piece last. So I'm going to put this here trying to make sure that my top side and bottom margins are all about the same. And then we'll go over the right piece. Doing the same thing, making sure my flowers are pointing in the right direction. Press that into place and then we'll do the middle piece. And the reason you do this is so when you do the middle piece, it's easy just to divide the space between these two strips just evenly in half, and then they're all placed equidistant. Okay. Next, you need a scrap, or not a scrap, a piece of very vanilla cardstock. This measures one inch by four and a quarter. And also need the triple banner punch. And since this is one inch wide, it should slide down right here in the middle on that bottom track. Make sure it goes all the way in and press. Okay, I wanted to add a little bit of color, so I have my Calypso Coral ink pad. And I have a, my little sponge, and I'm just gonna sponge around the edges to give it some bright color. And this is one of the coordinating colors from the Designer Series paper stack. Set that aside. Add some adhesive. Oops. And then for this, you want to line this side up with this uh, edge of the designer series paper. And I'm doing it about an inch up on the designer series paper. Put it right there and press it into place. Now here I have some of our Pacific Point Stitch Satin Ribbon. This is about 14 inches. I'm gonna open up the card, make sure it's laying in there flat. And then I'm gonna tie, tie a knot at the top. Pull that. And then the nice thing about it going around is now I can move it and center it exactly where I want it. Get my ribbon cutting scissors and just trim those off. Okay, and now we're going to set this aside for a minute. The next thing we want to do is we want to cut out the little thanks that we use, and that comes from the greetings thinlets. It comes with thanks, hello, and cheers. We want to use the thanks. And I have just a strip of black cardstock. This is scrap. I have my magnetic platform, my plastic uh, cutting pad. I'm going to set that down right there. Put this on top and I'm going to run this through the big shot. Okay. Now that that's done, you can take this away. That should pop right on out. Now you'll see that the words have all these little holes in it. If you just get a paper piercing tool and you just kind of push into those little holes, the word will just pop right off the back. Okay. So now to bring the card back in, and what I need for this is my fine line glue. Okay, so with the fine line glue, you want to make sure that you unscrew the white part, not the black part. If you unscrew down here, it will come apart, but you want to leave that on there. Only unscrew the white cap and pull gently because there is a needle that goes down inside the tip. So you want to make sure that you have your thanks upside down and you're just going to add little bits of glue along the word. 
Make sure you don't get too much. You don't want it to puddle outside of the word when you add it onto the cardstock. Okay. And it's such a fine tip, you can get all these little teeny thin pieces. Okay, then pick it up. And it goes right here, centered on the strip. that a second to take hold. And then you always want to replace your cap back onto your fine lead glue. If you put your uh, finger next to the tip there, you can line up the needle a little bit easier. Make sure it goes straight down the barrel. Whoops. And gently push it down in there. What it does is it keeps the glue from getting clogged. And then screw the tip back on. Okay, the final thing I want to do is I have another scrap of Pacific Point cardstock. And I also have the triple, no, this isn't the triple, the Pete Teat Petals Punch. I'm gonna punch out one of those flowers. I'm gonna grab my paper piercing mat and my paper piercing tool, and I'm just gonna press the back end down to kind of give that flower some shape. And then I'm gonna take one of my rhinestones. I want one of these large rhinestones right here. right there in the center. Okay, and now I need my glue dots. So lift one of the glue dots off with your paper piercing tool. Put that on the back. And then just put the flower wherever you'd like it. About right there. And there we go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If you wanna purchase any of the products to make this, just follow the link below this video and I'll have a link to my website right there. Uh, thanks so much for stopping by.